all natural, baby. <laughs> What's your name? Some people know me as RJ. Some people know me as Mr. Dimples. But my official name is Rents Joseph Rosario. What's your grade? A plus. But my uh, grade in high school, 12th. What made you want to do the interview here? <clears throat> well, I thought the environment in Burger King were, uh, was quite um, welcoming, as, uh, as I am. And I think I wanted to make it more personal, more natural, and uh, nothing like eating in front of, uh, in front of some uh, workers at Burger King with my crown on. So that's why I wanted to work here. Not work here, sorry. Don't want to work here. I work at Fry's. Put my two weeks in <laughs> a few weeks ago. But... That's what I wanted to do here. Exhilarating. How do you feel about graduating soon? Well, um, I never, never thought that I would reach this point where I'm going to be leaving high school. Like freshman year, I never uh, believed that... Um, That I've reached this point, I know it sounds kind of stupid, but like when you're a freshman, you don't really think about graduating right away. You don't really see yourself, but it being in like a week or so, it's really surreal. Like it's um, it's nerve wracking. What like what I'm even gonna do afterwards? So. How does it feel to be top one percent of your class? One second. <laughs> being top one percent means a lot. Even me saying it doesn't make sense to me because look at me. Do I look like a one top 1% student? I don't think so. But I somehow squeezed it through. It was uh, really difficult um, being able to reach top 1% because especially during COVID, motivation, all time low like for a lot of us. And um, doing any type of work was not uh, feasible for me. But I, I somehow did it. Um, I, I squeezed out an A for a, every single class, and I dropped all of my AP classes and my math class my senior year, and I still got one, top 1%. So I guess it says more about our class than myself. <laughs> <laughs> Was there struggles to get where you're at? There's many struggles. One major one obviously being COVID um, but everyone talks about that yeah everyone knows that during COVID time no one wanted to do any work no one was used to online especially the teachers um, another struggle was mine uh, with mine was uh, trying to also live a life uh, during high school especially trying to get like good grades and stuff because it was hard for me to balance like with work, um, doing homework, and also like just living high school as a teen. Because this is, especially nowadays, I feel like there's so much pressure in getting like straight A's or good grades that you forget like we're still human, we're still teens, we still make mistakes, and we need these human experiences to grow. What was one of your favorite memories of high school? There's a lot. It was the week before homecoming that entire week was so much fun i did the powder puff or the the peach fuzz i forgot the one that whatever the we do the volleyball that was a lot of fun uh another thing was the carnival the carnival was pretty fun i rode the little bull thing lasted 20 seconds my high score um and also uh Homecoming itself, that week, was so much fun. Oh, there was also a homecoming game, which uh, I think it was a pink out, right? Um, I think we I think we beat the other opponents by a lot. It was so much fun. One of my friends, Erica, brought in like a little a little flag, a little tapestry that said uh, something about Pitbull. I think it said live, laugh, love. So much fun. So much fun. And then homecoming itself was a lot of fun, too. I didn't go with the date, but like, it was so much fun. What was one of your worst moments in high school? Meeting Lexi. <laughs> one of my least favorite moments in high school was 
Ooh, that's a hard one. Oh, in the high school? Oh, <laughs> there's actually a lot. <laughs> was uh, during COVID. So that sophomore, sophomore, uh, end of sophomore, second semester, it was just terrible. Like we were, I was stuck in the house, had no motivation to do any type of work. And I had no interaction with my friends. I start. I started. I stopped talking to my friends. Uh, that, just the whole environment of the house was also like really bad because everyone didn't know what was gonna happen, and it's just not a good time, especially, especially uh, at the household. Um, it didn't get any better junior year, or the first semester of it. Um, I guess it got slightly because you're able to go in person, but. That first semester had no motivation once again to do any type of work. I mean, it was even worse. Procrastination was at its all time. Is there a is there a problem, Lexi? Something you have a problem with my stuttering? My procrastination during junior year, first semester, was so bad. Um. I couldn't even get up to do my work in the computer, and I had a good computer. I had a desktop. I was doing better than most. But they did have the school laptops, which was no bueno. No bueno. I honestly don't think I would be here top 1% if I was working off the school laptops, to be honest. So that's probably one of the hardest times. What will you miss the most? I'll miss the tight knit community that high school uh, brings because going into college there's going to be a lot more people one second in high school you can watch a lot of the people that you grew up with and see how much they grow like I know some people from freshman year and then seeing them now it's um, it makes me proud of them generally like Seeing how much people grow and seeing how much improvement people can make in the span of like three years, it's like inspiring sometimes. I'm obviously going to miss the people. Uh, I know I can't keep in touch with a lot of them, so it's going to be uh, bittersweet when I, I got to graduate and say goodbye to them. What would be something you would tell your freshman self? Well, one thing I would tell my freshman self um, is that, that the high school experience should be your experience it shouldn't be any already on uh what's the word already already invented invented expectation of high school uh going to high school um the expectation or the thing i thought of that that was the high school um experience was parties get a girlfriend live life laugh love uh and that's basically it. that's what i thought it was and having that kind of pressure um, going through high school, it doesn't create a, a, a good atmosphere because um, especially like trying to get in a relationship, forcing anything is not good. And when you have the whole mindset like, I have to experience the high school experience, then it just creates like toxic relationships and relationships that aren't meant to be. And it's simply just you could uh, call yourself in a relationship, which obviously isn't a good thing. We're at because, oh, freak. So we got kicked out. Got a Burger King, it's kind of lame, um, but we're, we're here, we're committed, so. Will you be attending a college, if so, which? I will be attending the party school, ASU. I'm actually conveniently wearing the jacket. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm hunting my burger. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be going to ASU for film and production and hopefully I could minor in business as well so I could transition to hopefully a, a social media, oh, a social media business kind of sector of sports organization or something like that. I'll figure it out when I get closer, but that's what I'm planning. I don't think anyone's ever ready. Well, I, I don't think, um, yeah, I don't think you're ever really ready for the next chapter of your life. Um, it just, it's kind of like a one step, one step forward type of thing. Um, 
So I guess to answer your question, no, I don't think I'm ready. But I think I don't think anyone ever is. If you can give any advice to any, <laughs> can I interview you guys? Say hi. Hi. It's so cute. Take some for your hamburgers. <gasps> really? Yeah. You want me to have this? Oh no. Oh. <laughs> you were you it. <laughs> we're filming this for uh for Ashley Lexi's project for school. For yeah. what? For school. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, gosh, who's your teacher? Mr. Sane. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to have it for journalism. I failed. Yeah, he was. You guys play golf in this class? What up, Mr. Sane? I be living it up. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> you guys are you're, you're very much living it up right now at 924. Yeah. So basically, sophomore year is one of the years where you should decide where you or should have some sort of path that you are willing to go to. Um, it, either it being basically like technology, health, you should have some sort of basics. So you could choose your electives. Uh, efficiently and most appropriate for your, your desired career. And is there any last things you would like to say to your class? Um, I think this class has a lot of potential. Uh, we kind of got butted from a lot of that potential from sophomore and junior year, but I think after high school we have so much potential of being great people, reach uh, amazing things, and I hope I can see you guys in the big screen or one of us become famous. So. Thanks. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap.